Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to look at IOU or intersection over union. So as you can see over here, intersection of union over union can be said as this is intersection and this is union. So basically you will be having a ground truth box, which is shown in green over here. So let's say you're doing an object detection and you get this, you have this uh, green box as a ground truth box in the training set. And then these red ones are your predictions okay so these are your predicted uh, truth boxes so what is intersection or iou is intersection over union that is this is intersection and this is the whole thing is union okay so you can see the areas so obviously this can be in many different formats so what is a good intersection over union bad or okay so anything that is above 0 0.5 is considered okay so as you can see over here the intersection over union here is quite large compared to these two but in the second one you can see if the intersection is very very low so basically what you have to see how big is the intersection and how much is the uh, total area so you can see the total area is very very high the area of green plus area of red is very very high but the intersection is very very low here you can see the intersection is quite good it's almost overlapping okay so the more the overlap the better it is so in this case the iou is 0 0.6 which is okay in this case is very very bad because iou is 0 0.15 and it is very good here because the iou is 0 0.92 now intersections can be from dif uh, can be of different types so this is what we saw earlier okay some intersection uh, where the ground truth box was on the top and this is right of the ground truth box similarly the union is associated over here so union will look like this so for this two the union is this for this one it's like this for this one it's like this and for this one it's like this okay so these are not all four i'm trying to show you all the possible cases because this is also a valid case this is also a valid case these four and these all four are valid cases and the unions are here the other cases where one is totally inside the other so here the intersection is this blue region and the union is here so let's try to derive a formula so for that let's assume that this x1 y1 and x2 y2 this green box is our uh, ground truth box and this red one is the predicted uh, predicted bounding box so the green one is the top left corner is x1 y1 and the bottom right coordinate uh, coordinate for the uh, green one is x2 y2 for the red one we have the top left as x3 y3 and bottom right as x4 y4 so the intersection first let's try to do the intersection the intersection will be this blue box over here okay the blue the blue region so how can we get the coordinates of the blue region very simple the top left of the red one and the bottom right of the green one so basically x3 y3 which is this one this will become our top left and x2 y2 this will become our bottom right but the problem is this does not hold for all the cases so we saw over here there are so many cases right and that's why i showed you there are so many cases because this does not hold for all the cases this does not hold for all the cases for example in this case which is just the second case your formula won't work because here you can see the bounding box is green one over here red one over here but the intersection is here okay so you can see this the point here is x1 y3 so x1 comes from the green box but y3 comes from the red box and x and here the bottom right is x4 y2 x4 comes from the red part and y2 comes from the green part so which means that we have to devise a general formula and the general formula is getting the top left of any intersection over uh, at least the intersection part is max of x1 comma x3 so you take the x coordinate of the green X, uh, top left x coordinate of the green top left x coordinate of the red and find the maximum similarly for getting the uh, y coordinate you take the uh, y1 and y3 and find the maximum so over here you can you know that in uh, in computer vision the x coordinate increases from left to right which is the general case however the y coordinate increases from top to bottom this is opposite of the uh, the general coordinate plane that we are accustomed to okay so as you can see x1 is from this one so what is the maximum of x1 x3 x1 is maximum why because it is more right so that's why x1 so max of x1 x3 is x1 what is max of y1 y3 you can see y3 is bottom and y1 is up so max is y3 so you have the 
top left as x1 y3 for the bottom right what is the what is the formula minimum of x2 and x4 so here is x2 here is x4 which one is more right x2 is more right so you will have uh, oh sorry minimum not maximum my bad uh, so minimum of this so x2 and x4 which is minimum x4 is minimum and what is the minimum of y2 and y4 y2 is here y4 is here the minimum is y2 so you see x4 y2 so this is a general formula and how to get the area so uh, to get the area what i have done is i have said the top left is xl yl so you can see over here i have written it as xl x is x coordinate l is uh, left y y is y coordinate l is left x is x coordinate and r is right y and r again here is right so top left becomes xl yl and bottom right becomes xr yr so the intersection area what it will be this will be xr you need to get the width and the height so width is this much you can see over the width is this much so width is xr minus xl xl so my, this is the width and what is the height yr minus yl as you can see over yr minus r so if you know the width and you know the height so what is the area width into height so xr minus xl which is uh, over here this uh, this much okay and um, this much is your yr minus yl so we have got the intersection area now we need another one that is the union area okay so union area is not that difficult you basically take the area of both the squares and you um, subtract the intersection why because this area the intersection area has been calculated twice so you take the area of sq1 and add the area of sq2 minus intersection area intersection area we have seen and sq1 and sq2 area is also not that difficult why because you will take you have the width and height for the green one what you will do x1 uh, x2 minus x1 will give you the width and y2 minus y1 will give you the height for this one x4 minus x3 will give you the width and y4 minus y3 will give you the height so it's not that difficult so now let's see this in code okay so first what we are going to do we are going to have our boxes so i'm going to say box one as our ground truth box so i'm going to initialize the coordinates as um let's say 2 comma 3 comma 12 comma uh, 15 so this is our box one so box two is our uh, predicted so for that i'm going to use 8 comma 10 comma 20 comma 23 okay so these are box box one is our uh, ground truth so we will say ground truth and the second one is our predicted so predicted fine now what i am going to do is i am going to find the intersection inter intersection okay so i am going to find the intersection so for that what i am going to do is i am going to say x1 or rather xl so if you remember from the ppt xl is max of box of 1 of um, let's say 0 and then box of 2 of 0 so basically maximum of x1 x3 if you remember okay so that is xl so the next one that we are going to have is yl so i'm going to say yl is box box of 1 that is 3 and then here we are going to have is box of box 2 of 1 which is again 10 so we are going to have the maximum of this now what i have to do for the x r and y r so here i am going to say x r and here here i am going to write y r instead of max i have i'll have to write min and here also min and box 1 of 2 here box 1 of 2 so all this has been explained in the ppt box 1 of 3 and here is box 1 of 3 so again you can see box 1 of, box 1 of 0 box 1 of 2 box 1 of 3 or uh, 2 sorry box 1 of 0 box 1 of 1 box 1 of 2 and box 1 of 3 and similarly this is for the box 2 so this will give us our xl yl xr yr now what i'm going to do i'm going to find the area of intersection so obviously what i have to do i have to find xr minus xl into yr minus yl so basically xr minus xl will give us the width and yr minus yl will give us the height okay 
so we are ready with our intersection area now what i am going to do i am going to find the union so to so to find the union what i have to do i have to find the width of box 1 width of box 1 that is going to be uh, box 1 of 2 minus box 1 of 2 minus box 1 of 0 and similarly what will be the height the height of box 1 is going to be box 1 of 3 minus box 1 of box 1 of 1 so basically this is in the format of uh, x1 y1 and here is x2 y2 so box 1 of 2 is uh, x2 minus x1 and box 1 of 3 is y2 and then this one is minus y1 and similarly we are going to do it for the second box which is the predicted one so here i'll so here i'll say 2 here i'll say 2 and instead of box 1 i have to say box 2 so i'll change this i'll change this i'm also going to change this and also going to change this now what we need we need the area now to get the area what i have to do is so let me go back so for getting the area of box 1 getting the area of box 1 i have to say width of box 1 into height of box 1 height of box 1 similarly for area of box 2 i have to say width of box 2 min oh sorry into height of box 2 okay now i have to calculate the union area union area so union area was area of box 1 plus area of box 2 minus intersection area so area intersection and finally our iou will be intersection over union so intersection or area intersection area intersection divided by union area union area okay so let's print this so we can see we have got an answer so we have written the code for iou so i hope you understood the concept if you have any question you can write it in the comment section i am uh, focusing on answering as as many questions as possible so thank you and bye